Let's talk about several areas which are comparable to chemical engineering. The first one of them is the chemist. So I got plenty of people w wondering or asking what's the difference between a chemist and a chemical engineer? Well, the chemist is more into chemi uh, chemistry, the study of actual substances, creating new ones, etc. And chemical engineers are more in the production of those materials. So let's check it out. I like comparing chemists will typically use milligrams, grams, because they are always working in the lab, whereas engineers are working on the plants. They are producing kilograms, tons, etc. Also, because they are working in small environments, they require high purity. They use glassware, whereas we engineers use steel. We need to move large amount of materials. Uh, glassware is not enough. They are considering microstates, whereas we consider macrostates. And this is essentially chemistry versus engineering. Uh, you will also be working with lab coats. You can see these uh, essentially glassware, etc. Whereas the engineers work with helmets, maybe some ear protection, eye protection. It, this will be much more protective than a lab coat and so on. Now, what's the goal of a chemist is essentially to create science, new knowledge. Maybe they are wondering new molecules, how they want to understand how chemicals interact between each other. They want to see their physical and chemical properties. They use plenty of lab experimentation. They are most of the time in a, lab or a chemical laboratory and they work with small scales. So that's interesting because many times you see that something works in the lab and you want to scale it up and it won't work. So that's the main difference. And that's one of the tasks of the engineer. Maybe the chemist has found out a new product and the engineer will be with the task on scaling up that process. Now, what are the topicals you will see as a chemical engineer? You will see um, plenty of general engineering, some theoretical basis like mass balance, energy balance, thermal, uh, transport phenomena, apply operations such as unit operations, reactors, heat exchangers, pumps, distillation columns, absorbers, fractionation, refinery, etc. And you will be working with design or operation of chemical plants, uh, of unit operations, how to improve processes, automation, control, etc. So what do you see in chemistry is essentially general science or maybe even nuclear science, quantum science. You will see plenty of theoretical chemists and plenty of experimental labs. You will be working on creating or working with rheology, maybe even some bio stuff. Nanotechnology is in a increasing area and they are also wondering on new technologies. So for me, it's too easy. You want to be working with machines and loads of products or you want to be working with uh, small scale and be creating new materials. I, I got these two memes. So essentially is one is in favor of engineering and the other one is in favor of chemistry. And I think both have reason. So in chemistry, they say A plus B equals C and D. But in real life, you will require maybe you want to separate A, you need to cool down B, then react them and you need to preheat them and then react them and eventually separate C and D and cool down, use recycle, very mu much more complex processes, jet the reaction or the idea is the same. And the chemists or the chemists will have this. So in chemical engineering, you will have very simple stuff. A plus B convert to C and D. You get this into a machine or into a plant, but they will be loving to see how they interact. The monomer, how they are used in radicalization, how the oxygen donates the electrons, how there is resonance and so on. Much more technical stuff. They will make fun of us because this is so simple. Jet, they are different fields. What do you like the most? P designing and operating a plant or wondering on the chemical reactions? And this is another example in which you will see a chemist and a chemical engineer. This is very, very uh, landing or you will see very how they differ. Now, one will be in 
analyze in the reaction and the other one will be in the reactor. So the chemist is studying kinetic reaction, how do they, the reactants uh, react, how fast, how do they, are they exothermic or endothermic, uh, do they require cooling or heating or must the reaction be adiabatic, they want to see how can they improve the yield, the conversion, maybe they want to increase selectivity, also this is very chemical, uh, the chemistry and the engineer will be willing to work with the chemist and, and ask him, okay, give me all the knowledge, all the science, because I'm going to be working with machines. I want to design the reactor, I want to see what do I need to operation, maybe I want to see the utility, the cost, I want to see what are the raw materials, how much are we going to need in heating, cooling for the plant, and so on. So as you can see guys, they are working on the same, one is analyzing the reaction and the other one is analyzing the reactor.